Bible studies, God. We ask that you would speak to our mind, speak to our body, speak to our soul today in a special and unique way. In Jesus' name we pray. And all God's people said, amen. Amen. I want you to turn your Bibles to the book of Psalms. Psalms 92. Psalms 92. Turn your Bibles to the book of Psalm 92. And we've got a word starting in verse 12. Psalms 92, verse 12. Psalms 92, verse 12. Yes. Psalms 92. The Bible says this in Psalms 92, verse 12. It says, the righteous shall flourish like the palm tree. Repeat after me. Say, the righteous shall flourish like the palm tree. He shall grow like a cedar in Lebanon. Those that be planted in the house of the Lord shall flourish in the courts of our God. And verse 14 says this, they shall bring forth fruit in old age. They shall be fat and flourishing to show that the Lord is bright. He is my rock and there is no unrighteousness in him. Now, I did this study before about four or five years ago, and I want to revisit and come back around. I want to talk about how to stay young and fruitful your entire life. I see some folk that want to stay young and fruitful. I'm going to just say how to stay like Minister Shannon your whole life. She's one of those young and fruitful types. So this is, I think, always good to visit throughout your life. There's times in our life where we feel a little old. Can I say amen? amen. There's times in our lives where we feel a little old. You know, the Lord desires that we serve him as long as we live, as long as we live, even in old age. Even as we get older, believers have the privilege of obeying God and ministering to other people. And so, however, there's some attitudes that we have to possess and some actions that we have to keep up to continue to be productive and young Christians at heart. You know, this year, a few years back, again, I talked about this. The last time I talked about this, I, was, uh, I had just turned the age of 34, and I felt really old. Well, this go round, I'm 38, so I'm feeling a little bit older. But I don't feel old per se. I actually feel good and I feel better, as the song says, since I laid my what? My burdens down. So y'all know that song. It simply means this. When I started turning myself over to the Lord, I began to feel better. When I started turning over my problems, my issues, my challenges over to the Lord, I began to feel better. So if you turn yourself over to the Lord, he'll lead you to what I like to call the fountain of youth. He'll lead you to the fountain of youth. Now, nothing in the Bible, there's nothing in the Bible that I found, if you find it, you can show me, that talks about retirement. I don't see, I don't see age 65 or 75 or 85 in retirement. The scripture says this, it says this, they shall bear fruit even in old age. Even in old age, they shall produce, be fat and flourish even old age. So why do so many people, the question I want to ask is, why do so many people per se age badly instead of staying young and fruitful their entire life? And so that's what we're going to dig into, how to stay young and fruitful your entire life. Well, the Bible says that they'd have to be uh, godly. Now, what is, what is a godly person like? Psalms 92 basically compares a, a godly person to a righteous person. And, and the Bible says they're like two trees two trees that are considered very valuable uh, in the Middle East. What is the first tree? The first tree is considered a date palm tree. Now, a date palm tree grows about 90 feet tall and produces abundant fruit. Now, another tree that we're comparing 